I started my master's degree because uh, working in such a big department, I, we have over 3,000 people. It just helps to differentiate myself and give me the administrative experience for promotional opportunities. And um, we do a lot of writing in, in my line of work, so it's really helped me sharpen my writing skills and research skills. So those are the primary reasons I did my master's degree. I really liked the fact that it was self-paced. It really made it flexible. Reading the material, doing the assignments, and then taking the test, it was all whenever you could get it done. When I started it, it was, I guess, up to this point, the busiest time in my life. Um, I was planning a wedding. I just moved, just got a new assignment, which was really demanding and I started my degree. So I guess the most challenging aspect of completing my degree was the strict restrictions I put on myself. The most challenging was definitely completing it on such a short amount of time. One week I'd try to read a unit a day. So that gave me seven days to read eight units. So one day out of the week I'd end up reading two units. So by the end of week one, I'd have all my readings done. My second week, I would review the material and take my test, and then that left me with about two weeks to start my paper, do my research, and crank it out. I didn't really have a, a private life, a personal life, for those eight months because every free minute I had, I was working towards completing the degree. So I did have to sacrifice a lot to get it done in a short amount of time, but now that it's done, I can move on you know, and focus on other things. The one thing I liked about communicating with the instructors was the online uh, messaging platform because if you ever had any question or confusion you can just send them a message and a lot of the instructors take the time to write you back even on their off hours. So it was very rare that I had to wait more than 12 hours to get a response for whatever it was. I was really doubtful that I'd ever get my master's degree and especially in the short amount of time and graduating with no debt. My employer had tuition reimbursement, so out of pocket, I think I spent roughly about a thousand dollars. I didn't think that'd ever be possible. My studies themselves um, have really helped my career in the fact that I think I've become a stronger writer. It's really helped me with my research, so I've already written a couple papers that, that I probably wouldn't have been able to do without doing my master's. My biggest piece of advice would be to set short-term goals and by all means stick to them because uh, as long as you can set short-term goals for each course, achieve those goals before you know it, the course is done. It's really easy to just you know, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow. But if you have a strict deadline for every little task in the program, you gotta get it done and, and you will get it done. Honestly, the biggest thing was the fact that you could work at your own pace. The cost was, you know, I, there's nothing that, I, I did my research, there's nothing compares. You're not gonna find another regionally accredited program that you graduate with little to no debt. Um, just overall, I think Patton's a great choice. Congratulations again. You're welcome. And that concludes the